the first thing to do is create a template because what we want to do is get the outline of in this case the door that we want to create so here I've drawn a template for the door just on a piece of card this is some cereal box card and remember what we're looking to do is make sure that this door is big enough that we think a character could get through it so it's 30 mil high another sort of five or ten millimeters here plus about sort of 30 35 millimeters wide so draw out this onto uh, a piece of card and then cut it out because the next thing we're going to do is glue the stir sticks over the top these wooden stir sticks are ideal because they they look believable as planks and obviously we've got the wood grain on them what you want to do is cut them out into uh, roughly similar lengths but some need to be a little different so we can get the proper effect we we'll just cut them out with a pair of scissors and just make sure that the the edges are fairly straight because it's too easy to cut them off at a particular angle you know make some a bit longer than others maybe about so long uh, make some a little bit shorter and so on again so we can get the variation in the length that we need so go ahead and cut out a whole bunch of these enough that you think will cover uh, in this case the shape of the door that we're looking to cover so just like so just cut those out like that so now that we've cut out the template for our door what we need to do is start laying on the wooden pieces that will be the, uh, the framework for the door I've already cut out all of the pieces that I'm going to attach here but there's another little trick because <clears throat> what we need to do obviously we need to place each of these wooden pieces on here as if they were you know planks in the door and hopefully you can see that but what often happens is at the bottom of these doors they get uh, they get very warm so a good trick is to select the planks that you're going to you know have on the bottom of the door here and with a pair of snips just kind of snip away at them so they become a little worn and chipped and little pieces fall out because then what we can do we can make it look like the bottom of the door has taken most of the weather and uh, you know the, the planks have become a, a bit rotten the way we're going to do this is simply to smear a good coat of glue onto this uh, this template piece because this template piece is meant to be a way simply to hold uh, these wooden pieces because you can imagine trying to sort of lace these together maybe uh, you know overlay them or something it's much easier if you do this uh, so what we're going to do we're just going to put a really good layer of uh, glue on here and then start to apply the wooden pieces like so so I just place them on here and push them onto the cardboard nice and firmly and if you get a little bit of glue in between the planks that's not it's not a big issue just make sure it doesn't go up too high because I'll show you a photograph later where it just doesn't you can you can tell it's glue essentially it just kind of ruins the, the feel I don't think anyone but us will notice uh, but you know what it's like you look at your models and you want them to be good so here we are so just very quickly line up the pieces that you've cut out and just carry on like so what you may find is the pieces overlap a little bit like this so we're going over the template slightly that's okay we're going to come back to that later we're going to trim up uh, the template uh, once we've finished laying all the pieces on so overlapping uh, the the paper template with your wooden pieces here is okay just uh, just crack on get them stuck to it you know a few little gaps will give uh, a bit of a bit of character anyway so just select the pieces so that the ends don't all end at the same place again a bit like plank work so it's overlapped and very quickly just apply them all like that and there we go we've got our uh, wood on the template ready to dry now the next thing we want to do while that wood is drying uh, is to think about the brackets that we want to put on the door now what I did, I got a piece of paper and where I cut my door out I just created another quick template outline of my door and then what I've gone and done is draw on these brackets 
Now I always use you know, a lot of these little guidelines, hopefully you can see them, to try and get these uh, of a similar size. And what we're doing is drawing it on fairly thick paper. I think this is like the 100 GSM paper. It's kind of uh, card paper as opposed to uh, just regular you know, thin uh, printing paper. Because now we've drawn these brackets on here, we know that they're about the right size for the door. And I've drawn a very simple design, plus I've marked where I think the, you know, the, the bolts or the studs would be uh, to hold these brackets onto the door. Now, we're going to put these on the outside of the door, even though they might really go on the inside. But again, we're going to add, it's just for a bit of, uh, sort of character to the door. We'll also need some kind of door handle, so be sure to leave a certain amount of space. And what we need to do is just cut these out because we're going to use this, uh, you know, this paper, uh, and literally cut them out and glue them uh, to the door itself. So go ahead and draw these, and then cut them out. Okay, now that the wood's dried on the template, what we want to do is take a pair of scissors and cut around this. By the way, uh, you can see here I left the wood just overlapping the bottom of the cardboard. Because if you put the cardboard uh, directly at the bottom, then uh, you know it can cover up this uh, this effect we've put on here. So literally, so remember, don't cut these. But literally now we're just going to cut around the the template itself. And obviously you can sand this. You can take a file to it. The next thing to do, in actual fact, is to paint the wood. And what we're going to do is paint this in a couple of layers of bestial brown. And once that's dry, we can then darken it using the uh, Devil and Mud wash. These are the colours I'm using. So the first thing is a couple of layers of uh, bestial brown and you know water this down and apply it liberally is the key here. You want to get it into uh, all of the cracks underneath. Uh, hopefully you can see that a bit better. But literally but this is what we're doing now. We're just going to cover the, all of the wood in a good coat of bestial brown. Now this is dry, it's fairly light uh, in colour. So what we're going to do is just add some Devil and mud wash onto it, and I'll take a, just take it straight from the pot really, and apply some devil and mud wash. What uh, you want to do here is get a nice even coat across the piece, but just be mindful of uh, getting it into the cracks because this is the trick as well. Now we want this uh, wash to go into the cracks to start to darken the cracks. Because as with everything, we're going to put three layers on here. The, the base coat, which is the bestial brown. Uh, you know, a kind of low light, which the devil and mush, uh, devil and mush? <laughs> devil and mud wash will give us. And we're going to use some bleached bone to do a dry brush on this it? Yeah, once this is dry. So we're going to let that dry and apply another coat, so a couple of coats of that, make sure each of these cracks in the wood uh, yeah, cracks and the you know the joins between the planks are nice and dark uh, to give us a good contrast. Okay.